Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the difference between life skills and livelihood skills. I am Dr. Suresh Badidmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Before I start my presentation, I would like to place this disclaimer. This presentation is for academic and training purpose only. For clinical opinion, please do contact a psychiatrist. Conflict of interest? None. In this video, I am going to discuss about the definition of life skills, the definition of livelihood skills, what is the difference between these two important skills. This video is targeted to the school and college administrators, policy makers, teachers, parents, NGO, corporate and community at large. Let's define life skills. Life means the period between the birth and death or the experience or the state of being alive is considered as life. Now, what are those skills which is required for life skills? Life skills are the abilities for adaptive and positive behavior that enable the individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life. The definition is given by World Health Organization. In simple word, life skills means those skills which are essential in life to deal with the challenges of life effectively. Very simple and very precise. Now, let's move into understanding of livelihood skills. Livelihood skills means the way someone earns the money. Here, the money people need to pay for the food, for the place to live, clothing. That means mere existence. It is the livelihood skills. It is how we earn for our bread, for our stay, that is shelter. So it's a bare minimum. Livelihood means is the way of make your living, pay for the basic things you need in life. So it's very clear. It is a limited range of mainly related to production of income or generation of income. At present, our education system is geared towards livelihood skills. That means our education says, if you are able to take the seat in our college, we will get you a job. That means we have reduced our education system to livelihood skills. We don't teach life skills. We teach what to earn, how much to earn and we teach them to dream about earning money. That is livelihood skills. At present, our education system is geared to that market requirement of economy, promotion, skill in particular profession and so forth. That means, the education says, if you get admitted in our college or school, you will get a job in engineering or a medical seat. Not more than that. That means, our education system is driving only livelihood skills, not the life skills. Livelihood skills training includes financial literacy, entrepreneur skills, basic soft skills for that job, that particular job. If you look at the life skills, the livelihood skills in children means doing laundry, personal hygiene, going to school, studying, nutrition and, gooding, and getting good marks. That is the end of livelihood skills. It's very particular, very very precise. Now, let's differentiate between life skills and livelihood skills. Then only we will be able to understand what I am trying to tell. Life skills are core set of skills applicable in every part of setting in whole life. Whereas, livelihood skills is earning or a job skills, very specific to livelihood. Life skills are general and comprehensive to our life. Whereas, livelihood skills are specific to basics existence, specific to a job, specific to a profession. That is livelihood skills. Life skills is entrepreneur, providing job and giving job to others. Whereas, livelihood skill is getting a job, getting a job in a particular profession. Life skill is starting own, being independent. Whereas, livelihood skill is depending upon the system to get a job. Life skill is how to do fishing. Livelihood skill is how to get the fish. So, there is a huge difference between life skills and livelihood skills. Life skills talks about 
teaching a person how to fish whereas livelihood skill is how to get a fish there is a huge difference one it is making independent that is life skills livelihood skill is depending to be dependent on the system as you can see life skill is huge livelihood skill is part of life skills there are core 10 skills which are life skills advocated by world health organization it is being alive quality of life being human and earning for livelihood is only part of it life skill is larger it consists of 10 skills self awareness empathy critical thinking creative thinking decision making problem solving effective communication interpersonal skills coping with stress and coping with emotions so these are the essential life skills which need to be learned by every child and adolescent this can be again divided into three categories of thinking domain emotional domain and social domain all these 10 important core set of skills are life skills livelihood skills are very specific to earning the lively or that is earning for your existence now you can pair these life skills into five different component creative thinking and critical thinking problem solving and decision making self awareness and empathy coming to the fourth set coping with emotion and coping with stress and the last one communication skills and interpersonal skills so these are the 10 life skills which need to be taught to every child and adolescent now the question is why should we teach life skills livelihood skills skill is enough one need to earn money to be alive or surviving that is not important the life skills teach everyone to how to lead a life having a quality of life and also being constructive to the society at present our system is based on that is current education system is based on information knowledge memory based to some extent value based and maximum is livelihood skills unfortunately life skills are not taught the 10 skills which need to be taught so our system what we have current education system plus life skills will lead to actual abilities but teaching life skill is not easy it is the requirement of the school teacher peers society at large and parents that means every person in the society has a role to play in teaching life skills to children and adolescent it is not just the school it is the responsibility of every citizen life skills means well being well being includes how to perceive ourselves the world and others what do you think about yourself about others and the world life skill is promotion of well being prevention of various non communicable disorders healthy lifestyles so that is comprehensive life skills it promotes healthy lifestyle prevention of non communicable disease assisting in socialization increasing the quality of life that is life skills and national education policy 2020 focuses on skill transference teaching children the life skills that is the essence of life but unfortunately our education system is equal to getting a job equal to livelihood skills not life skills we need to change that thinking process life skills is possessing core skills which enables the individual to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of our life it is managing job skills to life skills that is the paradigm shift is required at this point of time from getting a job to becoming an entrepreneur that is life skills life skill is educating the citizen not just a profession but also the personal life life skill is not just human being being human is life skills so life skill is larger than livelihood skills and we as a citizen need to focus on teaching life skills rather than just livelihood skills thank you very much for giving your valuable time stay safe